I thought I'd just share this one with you because um, it's a follow-up to my earlier video on my thoughts to the vector control unit on the new Arrows L39. If you've watched this video, you will know that I am not keen on using gyros. Um, so this is the first time actually I've used some kind of vector control gyro, if you like. Um, I don't like using these because... I just feel that, you know, I, ha I haven't got full control of the plane and if anything was to happen, um, you know, that if the plane crashed, I'd want it to be through bad piloting, not because the vector control wouldn't allow me to rescue uh, the situation. I understand for helicopters, such as the one you see up here, they have to have uh, and do have, and I do use them in my helicopters, but... Um, in, on this occasion, my worries were correct, and unfortunately, my L39 no longer exists. So, um, I'd like just to make a comment about the Vector unit and really to say that, that again, the Vector unit is excellent in the L39. But due to my lack of understanding of vector units, it has caused me to crash the L39. I took off in full stabilization mode. Um, the plane, or the L39, took off great out of my hands, nice and level. And I tried to turn into circuit, which was my first mistake because it's really in this setting you're working hard uh, to get it to come around because the, the vector unit is not allowing you to turn through a 180 degree turn without me thinking my in and in my panic as i had the stick fully over and the plane really wasn't coming around very well i let's say got the plane level through the 180 degrees eventually and the wings level or i i the visually the plane was level i i can't remember where my sticks were or anything but on my three-way switch i just knocked the switch from full stabilization control through switching the unit off and then into flight stabilization I thought because I'm traveling through the off that it would switch off the um, full stabilization and put me into the flakes. But what actually happened <laughs> is it did this, but when I put it into the flight stabilization, obviously it stabilized itself at the position I was in at the time. Um, so me trying to get it into level flight was actually never going to happen because obviously the plane was trying to level itself into level flight. In this case, it was inverted or it went into inverted and straight into the ground. Um, I was flying the model for the first time on a four cell and it, it made a massive difference, but unfortunately didn't have my camera running. But it made a massive difference uh, in the power of the model and made it come alive. But because of my lack of knowledge of this, and I was told after I should wait three seconds, so switch it into off, wait three seconds, and then switch it into the stabilization or flight stabilization mode. This um, it just emphasizes my a lack of love of stabilization systems because when you're fighting the model or trying to control the model the last thing i'm going to start doing is counting three seconds until i've moved from one to the other so i thought i'd just share this with you uh, for you to bear in mind it, it seems that you've got to in between the times you move or select your stabilization you want from n no stabilization into it you can't just jump from one stabilization to the other. You've got to give this three second period. So I hope the video was useful for you and thanks for watching. But uh, 
it was a sad demise. The model, um, unfortunately, as it hit the ground, the battery split and there was nothing left. <laughs> it basically all set on fire and it was a pile of melted foam um, with a full total loss of the airframe, electronics, receivers, everything. So just heed the uh, points I've made and as I say, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.